Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It is I, TXTV, TS Cosplay, Buckets and stuff, whatever you'd like to call me. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I've done, I guess not different, I've done commentary videos before, but this one really caught my eye and I had to do this one because I've been sitting on these, these feelings for a while. And I'm going to do a separate video about just everything I think about the book of Boba Fett and all that good stuff. But I was scrolling through Twitter. I'm literally just chilling, waiting for the new episode of Kenobi to drop so I can watch that. Um, but I saw this article while scrolling through Twitter. And sorry if this video is scatterbrained and all that good stuff. But I didn't even do a script for this. This is just all off the top of the dome. But I see this title that says, Demetra Morrison wants Boba Fett to return to his badass ways. And just over the Star Wars celebration time, and even during the time of the book of Boba Fett being, being out and episodes coming out and all that good stuff, in interviews, he's very candid about how he feels like Boba Fett wasn't done correctly in the book of Boba Fett, how he feels like he talked too much, how he just wasn't badass, and how he's saying now that he needs to return to his badass ways. But anyway, let's read through this article and uh, just let's share some thoughts here. So the article starts off with after opening his new chapter in the book of Boba Fett, actor Tim Werner Morrison says his time it's time to get Boba Fett back to his badass ways. The feared Star Wars bounty hunter returned in season two of The Mandalorian, not any less lethal without his armor. The gaffy stick wielding warrior brutalized Imperial forces with Din Djarin and ass assassin Fennec Shan. In the Book of Boba Fett set five years post Return of the Jedi, Fett claimed the throne of Jabba the Hutt as Daimyo of Tatooine's Mos Espa, who would rule with honor and respect, not fear. Asked about star his Star Wars future in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Morrison said we've got to bring him back somewhere. After Fett's role as an enforcer in The Mandalorian, as a reigning crime lord in the Book of Boba Fett, We've got to see old Boba Fett, Morrison said. We reintroduced him. We found out some stuff, but it's time to get him back to his badass ways. No two ways around that. The final chapter of the book of Boba Fett saw the Mandalorian join forces with Lord Fett and the Fett Gotra. Master Assassin Fennec Shan, the Wookiee Black Chrysanthemum, and the mods, I'll just say that. To obliterate the Pike Syndicate, the gang war ended with Fett mercilessly killing his former mentor and bounty hunter Cad Bane on the streets of Moss Espa. Now, let me just say mercilessly killing it. In my own mind theory, Boba was about to let Cad Bane live, but, live, but Cad Bane used a flamethrower again and Boba just had to end it. But with that aside, it's just really, I don't know, it's really sad that it feels like, like even with Kenobi, for me personally, I feel like I don't know, Disney's starting, to, not starting, but it's pushing out stuff. And The Mandalorian's been really, really great, don't get me wrong, but I believe for two reasons why the shows have been the way that they are. One is that we these are characters we already know, so we already have expectations of what they should be doing. Din is different. The Mandalorian is different. We don't know his story. It's completely new. It's one of the first stories of Star Wars up until season two that we didn't get lightsabers regularly in a, in some sort of star wars content with the book of boba fett a i don't believe they could have done anything other than for me personally make him like a punisher's type type character or a vigilante i don't know or with his vendetta against you know bounties and all that stuff go take over the bounty hunters guild be the head of the bounty hunters guild how would they do that i don't know Personally, overall, I feel like Boba Fett shouldn't have even shown back up. He should have just left, gone into the dust, and be like, where'd he go? He's a phantom now. Who knows what he's doing until you have a clear plan. Now, again, to the second part of that with the book of Boba Fett, I feel like they didn't know what to do because they weren't following the trope that they usually follow with Star Wars now. The old mentor taking care of a young kid until that kid can defend themselves. I.e. the Mandalorian with Grogu, the Bad Batch with Omega and the Bad Batch, Obi-Wan now with Leia, and Rebels, Kanan, and Ezra. Now I'm not sure about Kanan and Ezra 100% because I haven't finished Rebels yet, don't crucify me, but I just see a pattern in Boba Fett is one of the newest things of content to come out for Star Wars and not follow that trope and it, to me, 
it didn't hit the mark the right way um i believe it's now quantity over quality because we've seen a roadmap of all the stuff they're doing with the next within the next year to year and a half and three years and sadly there was been nothing said about boba fett so i think the book of boba fett may end a big thing for boba but i do remember and i don't know how true this article was but during the book of boba fett stuff there was an interview done and tem actually spoiled something that happens in the finale and he says they're on a gunship or something now as we know in the uh, in the finale they weren't on a gunship nothing like that happened so that might be him ending to something in season three um and we'll if it's brady and i on the dead kings podcast check that out we do weekly episodes breakdowns and stuff of the the shows that come out anyway if that is for mandalorian season three i'm going to be very upset i'm gonna be happy that it's happening but i'm upset because they're making boba fett cool and everything other than his own show don't get me wrong i don't care how the plot holes or whatever from when din and and boba are fighting to when the rain course shows up and boba's riding it that's my favorite bit of recent star wars stuff um but with that it's sad that the actor who has devoted his life and brought his culture into star wars and put so much of himself into this character is so unhappy and just kind of sad that boba fett isn't what he's supposed to be and everybody can say oh he's not a bounty hunter anymore he can still be really badass and cool and not be about a bounty hunter anymore like we saw in season two of the mandalorian i know i just held up three fingers don't worry about it but anyway i don't know let me know what you guys think down below it's wild times wild things that are going on hopefully we get some more crazy cool boba fett in the mandalorian season three but until that happens i will see you guys in the next one